This is the new tab for the 1040 calculator for 2011's uh, tax returns. The first section of this looks identical to your 1040A form for 2011. You're going to choose your status, filing status. If you're single, press the box for single. If you're married, filing jointly, do so. Now it's important that you choose the right box because it will impact the numbers down here. If you look here, you see a 5. I'm going to go up here and I'm going to choose married uh, filing separately. And then I'm going to choose single on this line. This right here will represent 1 for single. This is represents 2 for spouse. And then, of course, it adds the number of dependents. Zero dependents and a spouse, it's two people. If it's a spouse and one dependent, of course, it calculates three. Now, this section and this section are not connected, but they're both connected to the actual um, tax form. That's how it calculates. So whatever status you choose up here will determine if you qualify for certain types of credits. Uh, it also determine uh, what type of deduction you qualify for. So once again, let's uh, go ahead and choose married filing jointly. Uh, as you know, that most of us single people never get any types of credits, but people who are married and have kids get credit. So we're going to use married. And let's just say down here we have stated that they they're a spouse. Here we're going to give them, let's say, two kids. That means four uh, dependents altogether, and this is basically going to impact exemptions. Now we're going to move down to the sheet, and I'm not going to read that for you because you'll be able to read it for yourself. It's identical to your 1040A form. The places that you enter are the green shaded fields. Yellow means Anything can be entered there if it applies to you, but nine times out of ten, most people don't enter anything on, in those uh, fields. Red indicates that these are fields being calculated. Do not touch them. So you're only going to touch two fields in this sheet uh, besides clicking boxes, radio buttons, and check boxes, and drop down menus. As you can see, the red and the yellow. Yellow, you will enter if it applies to you. Uh, Red you will not touch. And there's a second uh, section where you will enter something. Uh, you enter how much taxes you've actually paid, if you paid any. So let's see what we have up here. We have 16,000 16, for the year. Let's just assume that this is a senior c citizen. And uh, we're going to say the person probably had about 2000 taken out of their check for taxes. Yeah, and now that we've done that, for those two categories, we're going to go down here and we're going to, this is very important, remember we're talking about seniors now. This section right here, uh, 23A section, it says check the box if you were born before January the 2nd, 1947, and also, if you're also blind on top of that, the same applies to your spouse and if they're also blind. So watch what happens when we, right now it's at zero. Watch what happens when I check the box for, let's say that I am uh, the person that uh, was born January the 2nd, before January 2nd, 1947. Keep watching this is where the big zero is. I've checked that. Now I'm going to also check that I'm blind. I'm going to check that my spouse is also was also born before January 2nd, and they're blind. Now you have four here. Now it's very important that those boxes are checked because the deduction for these individuals are going to be different from a person who was not born before January 2nd, 1947, and that are not blind. Our standard deductions are different from those people who are seniors and blind. Okay, so now that they have those, let's go down here and see what happened. Notice here where, sorry, okay, 
See this section right here? It says taxable income. Even though it's yellow, you don't have to do anything for that one. For I, I, I'm going to uh, change that to green. I'm sorry, to red so you don't do anything there. But anyway, that calculates for you. If we go over here, that is the taxable amount on line 14B. That's for Social Security benefits for a person who actually got 16000 for the year in Social Security benefits. Usually people don't get that much, but... Okay. So they have a taxable amount of that for $16,500. Uh, and we continue to go down. They are both over a certain age, and they're both blind. So, of course, they're seniors, and they're handicapped. Here, I've entered that 2000 was taken out of the check for the year. And notice here, I have it, I'll pull over. It says, insure. Now, this will disappear if nothing uh, shows up here, if you don't qualify. But it's obvious because of their age, they qualify for the earned income credit of 5112 but I have here ensure that all uh, earned income uh, credit requirements are met. I'm just assuming that a person truly falls under the categories of being a certain age and they truly have dependents that uh, are um, that fall under the requirements. In fact, for a dependent it has to be anyone who's under 18 that you've been taking care of for the year of 2011 uh, the individual uh, is in your care. That could be a grandchild, it could be a stepchild, it could be an adopted child, it can be a niece, it can be a person of any age who's actually with a disability that you're taking care of and that you're the one who's responsible for. Okay. And they have to be younger than you and, uh, and or your spouse. Okay, so now with that, this person doesn't owe any taxes, but they will get $3,626 back.